Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kevin Owasu Itoy, and welcome to teachyourselftestautomation.com. Well, this is Teach Yourself Test Automation um, YouTube channel, but I also have a teachyourselftestautomation.com blog, right? So here we are teaching ourselves Cypress. We've taught ourselves selling new web driver with Java. That's another um, test automation tool. And we've taught ourselves a couple of frameworks. Um, and now I'm here teaching myself another uh, test auto automation tool, which is Cypress. Right. Well, this 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 video is going to be very quick. Right. It's one of the the um, locator locator strategies you can use um, if you want to to locate elements on a web page. Right. You just use the um, Cypress selector um, playground. Right. So I just want to show you this quickly so that. Um, you could make use of it, right? Um, I just found it out myself. <laughs> I'm just new to Cypress myself, and all these videos, I I find things, I learn things myself, and then I share, right? And hopefully, it's useful for someone out there to learn from as well, right? So once you've once you've kicked off your case in, in Cypress, so you kicked off your test case. Let's get out of this one, and then I should show you. So you go to your, uh, your test runner. And you click on your test case, test runner will fire up your preferred, um, your default browser or your preferred browser. In this one, we are using a, a, a Electron, right? the Electron browser, right? So once it click, click, kicks off the browser, this is what the test runner looks like. Um, your app details, the app on the test on the left side of the pane, and your um, Cypress a uh, command log on the right side, right? So if you want to, if you want to, you know what what we what we've done, like in the previous videos, what we did was uh, we actually went and <coughs> so we went to the website that we are using to, right? So this website that we are using to 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 teach ourselves how to manipulate elements on the web page right so it's it's test qa test qa website thank you guys for your for your for your generosity in making this so that we can use so what we do normally do is we just go in into the um the element on the page that we want to 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 find um a locator for right uh, and we just right click and inspect right when you inspect the you see the HTML is displayed and it's highlighted for that particular element, right? And you've got all the attributes in that HTML for that particular element, which is um, our text box, right? So in here, what we what we've done is actually grabbed grabbed the um, the ID for the first field and changed that into a, a recognizable um, ID for CSS selector in cypress right in cypress and that means just putting a hashtag in front of that in front of that um, id right so it's going to be hashtag username right so if we hop back to our uh, test runner so this is the first field and that's what was used by us right we found out by inspecting the element on the web page but here you could just go directly and click on open selector playground so when you click on open selector playground and you click on the the element you want to locate on the page right and look at that cypress just writes you the whole code that you need to locate that element right it writes the whole code that you need to locate that element so if we copy that i'll move myself out of the way here you can click copy to clipboard so we copy that and we go to our uh, visual studio code Remember, this is only the this. Is, so this was the first line, right? The first line, which is was to uh, enter um, my name on the page, right? So the first line was if we come up with this, right? First line is to enter my full name, right? That's a field that we've, we've allocated, right? So this is the first line here as well. So we've already written this code, but we just want to paste this here so that you see the similarities of what Cypress has just given you, right? So it gave us exactly what we had before, right? 
what we came up with before manually just by uh, inspecting the element, right? And then you can go on there to say type, right? You can go on to say type and then in, in brackets, you, you put my name in there, right? So we'll put, so you can see how you can, uh, we'll just take that code out. So you can easily see how you can use the Cypress test runner to actually uh, as a locator strategy, right? So if we go in here and let's see what, or in this one, it, right, let's move, move this side. <clears throat> ah, okay, on this field we used, I think in our code we used uh, the customized, customized CSS selector, right, for Cypress. We use the customized CSS selector. Yeah, there you go. So the customized CSS selector is the inputs and then the attributes equals to what the attribute value is, right? <clears throat> Whatever attribute you want to use. In this in this case, we used type, and the type value was email, right? Email. But looks like uh, here, if we try to use Let's try and use this, right? So just copy what's in between that and see and run our case again and uh, our test case again and see if it works. It should work. Uh, so in here, instead of using uh, this, we use. You know what? Let's do this. Uh, I don't know if that works. But yeah. We could change this later, okay? So in here we just do this, and in here we put the ID. I think it should work. It should not, yeah. So we put the ID. The ID is hashtag user email, and hopefully this is unique and it will work as well, right? So if we just say, and this should kick off our test case again because we've not come out of the browser, and hopefully it works, but we'll see. So this is all how you could use how we could use um, the selector playground to actually locate your ID and your locate your your um, find out the, how to they locate um, <laughs> element locators on the web page right. Uh, it's a bit late now and it's a bit a bit tiring right. So that looks like see it ran it ran successfully so it used it used email right. Hashtag user email. That's what the the uh, the field was called, like, and successfully entered my email address, right? So yeah, and the thing is, once once you click that, then you can go in and use the locator that's suggested by use the locator. Um, sorry, the code because it writes you the whole code. It gives you the API, gives you get. So this is the location, just locating the, the element, right? This is just locating the element, which we use the get uh, command for, right? So it just, that's just for locating the elements on the web page, right? And then once you've located that element, you go on to do, uh, you go on to do a manipulation of that element, right? Which could be, you want to type something or you want to click something or you want to, various other, you know, the actions that you want to carry out on the element, right? You go forward and do that, but yes. And after you're done, to on you just unselect it, and it goes back to the normal page that it was, right? But once you click it, it gets activated, and you can just find out any any elements you want to use. You can find out your um, you can find out how to actually get that element just by using the um, Select a playground, right? So we don't click it now. Select a playground. That's it. So my name is Kevin Owasuito. Hopefully this video was a bit informative. A bit, I say, because it is just a small item that uh, is very useful to know for Cypress, right? Where uh, you don't need to struggle about uh, getting um, or looking, locating elements on the page. Just use your Cypress test runner and, and you should be fine, right? So that's another thing that Cypress makes it very easy for you to, to, to actually use Cypress in doing your test automation, right? So my name is Kevin Owasuito.
stay blessed and um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed um, and thank you for for stopping by and checking out my my, my channel okay stay blessed my name is kevin Owas with third